Liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, a window on the universe. 25th anniversary for Hubble now, bringing us stunning pictures from space all these years, and NASA marking the silver anniversary with a special photo. Perhaps one of the most spectacular, a cluster of more than 3,000 stars. Mike Massimino, former astronaut, he's a professor at Columbia University's engineering school and a senior advisor for space programs at the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum here in New York. I guess you're really not a former astronaut. Once an astronaut, always an astronaut. I guess right? so, but I'm it's, not. It's in your blood, man. NASA's no longer paying my salary, so we can <laughs> yeah, look at. You are this, former. I'm off the payroll, Got so. Why, yeah. why is Hubble so special, Mike? Uh, it's, it's, I would, to me, it had two things strike me. One is it's, overall, I think it's the greatest scientific instrument ever built. And I think that's for two reasons. One is because it's an engineering wonder. It can accurately point at the sky while traveling 17,500 miles an hour so accurately that if you had a laser around the corner here at the Empire State Building, you could hit a dime on the Washington Monument. Really? While traveling at that speed. That's why, it's, and it's above the atmosphere, it could take these great images. Engineering, engineering wonder. The other thing is that it shows us the universe in ways we never could have seen it. We never could have seen it before because it's above the atmosphere. It looks directly into the universe. It's made these great discoveries. One Nobel Prize so far has been won. Dark energy, dark matter, existence of black holes, all these great discoveries. And also the beauty. The image you just showed, it's very, uh, very important for astronomy and for science, for understanding the universe. But it's just beautiful. Yeah, I love your enthusiasm. I don't think our viewers may realize, but you have been to Hubble twice. I've been there twice. Yeah, the last two I mean, servicing missions. What, what is on. that like? You know, how, how big is it? It's about the size of a school bus. It was made to fit perfectly inside of the space shuttle. You wanted to make it as big as it could, as powerful as it could, but it had to launch inside of the space shuttle. So it took up the entire payload bay of the shuttle when it went up into space, about the size of a school bus. So as an astronaut, right, guys, you've studied space your entire adult life. Yes. When you see the images from Hubble, what do you learn as an astronaut? Um, a couple things strike me. Number one is, Bill, I'm glad I didn't break it. Because, you know, we're, we're in the line. We're, we, you know, that's always the concern is let's not do any harm to the telescope because it's great. So every time I see these images, I'm, like, really happy that we left it in good shape and in better shape than when we, when we got there. But I have learned lots of things. And I'm not an astronomer, okay? I'm more like the repairman. I don't look through the telescope. I fix it. And then these very smart astronomers get the science and the data and the images and tell us what we're looking at. But the great, there's been great discoveries. One is the uh, black, uh, black holes. They theorized that they were there. Now we found out that just about every galaxy has a black hole in its center. Dark energy, which is uh, Adam Reese and, uh, and uh, some other astronomers. Adam Reese is a local person here in the New York area who won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of dark energy, dark matter. All that came Plan from Hubble. Yes, huh? planets wow. uh, the age of the universe, the, the extent of the universe, that the universe is, uh, the dark energy theory showed that the, the uh, universe is not just expanding, but it's also accelerating. These are questions we couldn't even ask, we couldn't even imagine, and Hubble has shown us this. And just the beauty. I mean, you're showing some of these images here. Yeah. It is a beautiful universe. Yeah, I mean, we you, live in. you walked in the studio a moment ago and said, "Wow, look!" look yeah, that great image this. you have up there. Uh, well, listen, thanks Amazing. for sharing. I know you got a Pleasure. big weekend. We do. In it's our, DC, it's so the happy 25th 25. anniversary. We're going to see a lot of my friends, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. It's yeah, well, a great we'll, thing to celebrate. So we all should be very, we all should be happy as taxpayers and citizens of the world. It was, it's a great achievement having that telescope like up that. there still working. Twenty-five more. All right, thanks Thank for having me. You bet, Mike. Right. Have a good you. time, Mike.